Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help here today. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about some of the differences and enhancements, little tweaks, tweaks and tricks that Apple did not talk about in uh, iOS 7's announcements. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video now. The first thing you might notice is does a slide to unlock. You can do it from any section here of the lock screen. You can slide to unlock from any area. Unlike before, you only used the bottom section here to slide to unlock. Now also, now notification center is available at the lock screen there. And also the new control center is also available from the lock screen. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock. Now also iOS 7 has some new improvements and enhancements to make the OS feel more alive. And what I mean by that, if you hold down the power button on your device, as you slide to power off, the screen will start dimming as you can see there. And if you completely slide, of course it's gonna power off. But if you slide, the screen will start dimming and then the device will power off. It gives the, uh, the OS a liver feel and look. Also, if you jump into the phone application and you tap on, on the, uh, one of the icons here, you can actually see the wallpaper right through the icon. Now, these are not really enhancements to the OS, but it helps the OS feel more unique and uh, custom to your style because it gives, it, it gives the uh, wallpaper a chance to uh, translucent through the entire OS and make, it makes it feel uh, unique. Also, it does work through Siri, as you can see there, my background and the icons can show through Siri, again, giving the OS that liver look and feel. Now, also, I don't know if you guys have noticed here on the clocks application, we also have some animation there. The clock is actually telling the actual time, as you can see, uh, it's moving, and the time is 118, as you can see the clock there says 118. Now, uh, hopefully they can bring this also to the weather application. This is iOS 7 Beta 2, by the way, and uh, uh, more changes might be coming uh, uh your way here with the next uh, few releases of iOS 7 before it is released to the public. Now also if you jump into your settings application and you go to the general section then you go to text size. Uh, I like this option because uh, let's say here let's make the text small and uh, if I wanna if I wanna go here into the uh, notes application for example here and make the text uh, small well there it is it's small if I multitask uh, back into the uh, text size here and increase it. I don't know if you guys will be able to depict this, but the actual text there increase size. It's a really cool thing if you have uh, problems uh, seeing, of course, uh, or if you just want to increase the text. Now, another cool thing I noticed about iOS 7 is that if you slide to the left here, you don't get the spotlight search no longer. What you have to do is from the middle of the screen, swipe down, and then the spotlight search will appear on your device, and you can search the entire device by simply just swiping down from the middle of the screen, and the keyboard will just pop up, and you can go ahead and search through your spotlight through the entire device. Now, also, another thing I noticed about uh, here, iOS 7, let's say you're in... Uh, one of these uh, sections here, uh, you no longer have to go to the top to get back. You can slide from the edge of the device and it will take you back to the previous panel. Uh, this also works through messages, iMessage, and also works through the email application as well. Now also, if you jump here into your uh, Maps application, you will also notice a small compass there on the top that gives you uh, the coordinates and directions exactly when you're pointing to the north or when not. Uh, again, not a really big improvement and enhancement here in Maps, but it does help with the coordinates and it gives the OS a more uh, unique look. So if you jump into Safari, the Safari web browser, let's say you're on uh, landscape mode and you're doing something, you're reading iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com and you double tap the home button, you also get your landscape multitasker. The multitasker works in landscape and uh, not only does it work in landscape, but you can get rid of uh, multiple things at once. You can do two cards, uh, three cards at once and uh, it just brings the OS more customization and more ease of use uh, with this uh, new um, uh, multitasking uh, landscape, it helps the OS there uh, to improve upon the uh, multitasker. So those are some of the differences of iOS 7. Of course, more will be coming your way. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, hopefully, Apple can bring the liveness to icons such as weather, uh, you know, uh, notification uh, here, a uh, book, pa uh, pass book, and things like that, like the clock that can tell the time uh, as it is. And uh, hopefully Apple can improve upon iOS 7 more. So hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little video. Please thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.